now selecting from uh, from a table a few columns might be okay but now you might also want to select um, only a few rows from your table so we saw that if you choose a column or a column list then you get all the entries but what if you just want to get some entries which fulfill a certain condition then you can add to this select from the where clause the where clause here and you add some conditions one condition or many conditions which should apply to the rows which you want to select so you enhance your um, select statement with this where clause and the conditions and if you look at these conditions, then you have different means to, um, to express such a condition. For example, you have operators like equals, smaller than, larger than, smaller or equals, larger or equals, smaller or larger means unequals or this other expression for unequals. And a simple example is shown here. You select, let's say, all columns from the table products. And now the where part comes with the condition where the price is larger than 30. You want to get the products but you want to get only products where the price is larger than 30. So you are not interested in all products. You are only interested in the, let's say, more expensive products. And that's something which you can formulate, which you can express with these conditions here. Let's try that in our database. Select star from products where price larger 30. And we run the SQL and we get a result. We get a result and if you want to look into detail, then we see that products with the price larger than 30 are in our results. So no products which are cheaper than 30, only products which are more expensive than 30. And if you look in the number of columns you get, then these are less columns than actually the 77. You get only 24 records, 24 records, um, means that you have 24 products which are in their price larger than 30 currency units and overall you have 77 products so with this where price larger 30 you select only the products which are in their price larger than 30. The second possibility for expressing uh, something as a condition is that you use is null or is not null. Is null means that it refers to the entry in your column. So is null expresses that there is no entry in a certain column. And is not null means that you express that uh, there is a certain entry in your column. Let's have a look at an example. You say, for example, that you want to have all columns, select star, from your employee table, and you say where the first name is not null. Where the first name is not null. Means that you want to get the entries where a first name 
is entered in the first name column. And all the entries where the first name is uh, not entered in the record, you want to neglect. So only the entries where the first name is not null. We will try that in our online database now. We first have a look in our employees database. In our employees table, not database. And we want to select star from employees where the first name is not null. Let's try it out. It's actually the same. Here in our um, database, we have all entries with the first name, so we get the same. If you're in your table, have maybe fields which are null, which might be null, then you can select these um, with null or with not null. So here it leads to the same result, actually. And another possibility for expressing a condition is with this in clause. Select star from customers. We select something from our customers table. Where country, we want to refer to the column country. Where country in Germany or France. And that means that we look at the column country, and if there is a Germany, if there's Germany as the value, or if there is France at the value, then we want to select this row. Select where country in Germany or France. Let's have a look at the online database. So here you see the customers table and we introduce our um, expanded select statement with the condition where country in in the set Germany and France and you see overall there are many different countries first um, we have not only Germany we have France we have Italy Portugal and so on and if we execute this statement, then we get only 22 records. So 22 records where the value is Germany or France, as you can see here. And overall, we have in our customers table 91 records. So by selecting only where country in Germany or France, we select only a part of our customers. Another possibility to express some condition.